Wow, missionary sucks, huh? I mean, not like... <laughs> Imagine if I died now with the boss. Welcome to the video. In this one, it's the third part of my full playthrough of Cult of the Lamb. It's about a 14-hour playthrough that's been edited down, and I hope you enjoy this adventure. Please do hit like and subscribe for more. And if you want more of me, follow me on Instagram for updates and gaming recommendations, and check out my podcast of bedtime stories to help you sleep. Enjoy the video. It's nighttime. I love that Monty has the moon necklace so he doesn't sleep. Look, my good little worker he is. Great leader, I like you. No, I love you. But you make me the happiest creature in the world and marry me? Wait, you're Monty. Let me do that again. <laughs> ah, great leader, I uh, like you. No, I love you. Would you make me the happiest creature in the world and marry me? Ah, oh, why does it keep saying marry Tuttle? All the quests say Tuttle, but I guess this is still, like, before it comes out. So there's still time for bug fixes. I guess. I Let's find out whether it's going to say Tuttle or Monty, but sure. I hate to make um, Beanie jealous, but... Marry Tuttle. Yeah, weird. So even though Monty asked me, I need to marry Tuttle. Hmm. I can't do it when they're asleep, because I'll lose points if I wake them up. They get annoyed if you disturb their sleep, so we have to let them sleep through, in which case I'm going to slink out right now and do another dungeon run. And try it. Another one? I don't even have 50 gold to give you. I'm so sorry, darling. Have fun. This weapon is so powerful. Whoa, spiders everywhere. Heket, accept our sacrifice and bless us with fertile soils and bountiful harvest. Keep the famine at bay. Get poisoned, fam. Damage. They're barely even attacking me, those frogs. They kind of like mill around, don't they? Big old buffalo boy. Rescued. Look at all the ones that are still in there. Look at that art. Yeah, I'm Captain Cobweb Outman. Sorry, only one. Bye. Bloody hell. Got impatient. God damn it. It's fine. We have the life. Put some poison on them, but I don't have the fervor. Wow. Roll. Gotcha. Get converted, son. Let's see. Spore Grotto. Zozo grows crude and unpredictable. I fear for our fur. He cares only for mushrooms. His madness grows. A new shop. Cats, cats. Cats. Greetings, traveler. Me? Why, well, I'm Sozo, of course. Researcher of all things mushrooms. Guess that makes me a fun guy. Just a little joke Sozo likes to tell. Yes, yes. Mushrooms. Mushrooms are Sozo's passion, but Sozo needs more. Sozo always need more. You collect for Sozo, yes? Yes. Sozo can't trust my followers out there. They lie, they steal, they whisper secrets about Sozo. Sozo will do anything. I'll worship at your altar. Sozo will devote myself to your cause. I'll rip off your head. Um, 
Sozo will show you how to use the power of the mushrooms to open the fragile minds of your followers. You do not need to use it on Sozo. Oh no, Sozo will follow willingly as long as you keep bringing Sozo mushrooms. Sozo will do anything. Take the path to Anura. Find Sozo mushrooms. Okay. I have a mushroom for you. Sozo loves you. Sozo needs you. Are you spying on Sozo? Oh, I need... Ten mushrooms. Okay. I haven't been to the Lonely Shack since day one. Whoa, what's this? That's where the rat form's hiding. Nice. Got all of those now. You just play knuckle bones, huh? Okay. Gambling for gold. I could do with some more gold, but... Oh, I don't have the time. New Doctrine. Dude, let's do another afterlife one. Respect your elders. All cult members gain respect your elders. Receive plus five faith for every elderly follower in the cult. All cult members gain good die young. Gain 10 faith if an elder is sacrificed, murdered, or consumed, but lose 20 faith if an elder dies naturally. Ooh. That's a tough choice. I don't enjoy sacrificing those, so I'm gonna do uh, respect your elders because I think we've got two right now, and we're about to get a few more as well. I want a mushrooms. You can at least plant the seeds for me, okay? What? Beanie has reached old age. My wife. My wife. Oh, I should have given you the nap. I should have given you the ex life extender. Beanie, my love. Wait. I can no longer kiss you because you're old? Uh, what? That makes no sense. What? You can't kiss your old partner? That's so mean. All right, time for a wedding. Guys, I've gathered you here today because as you know, Beanie is too old to kiss. So I'm gonna marry another old person because somebody asked me to marry Tuttle. Okay, is that good enough? Is that romantic enough for you? Eh, here we go. Tuttle, you've served me well for the entire cult so far. All right, that's it for today. Get on out of here. Beanie is jealous of your new spouse. Minus five faith. Sorry, Beanie. Uh, Bowman. Blessing. Can't kiss you though, apparently. That's all right. I already, I've already barely had any lips as a turtle, and now I'm a really old turtle. It'd be like kissing dust. Chillaloo and Knuckles have become friends. It's so cute. Hurts. Okay, refining. Oh yeah, I need another mine. That's right. 30 gold. Okay, so let's sell some stuff. Sell some fish, some tuna. What can I sell? Hey, these flowers are pretty good for money. I have a lot of those. <gasps> no! Tuttle! Tuttle died of old age. <laughs> On the day of our wedding! Psst, Lilda, rumor has it boldly as a spy. Some pan enemy cult to undermine your great power. Speak with them, see what they have to sell. Talk to Bogey. Oi, Bogey. Hello, Lilda. What a beautiful day in paradise. Might I say you look extra glorious today? Well, 
obviously they're hiding something. Believe me. Hmm. Well, back to mourning my dead Tuttle. A follower has died. Commiserations for your loss. Corpses are not good for sanitation, likely to cause other followers to get sick. Bury your follower in a body pit or grave. Of course, there's a lot of meat just going to waste. Okay, burial. My sweet love. Take loot. Oh, it's so sad. Everyone say goodbye to Tuttle the Turtle. First cult follower. Swoop. Here lies Tuttle. Tuttle has been buried. So now we get to find out what the resurrection ritual is all about. Level three cult, first off. Give me those sweet upgrades. The power that this brings will allow us to bring Tuttle back to life. Trust me. Leveled up. Come in, come in. Your devotion has allowed us to perform the almighty resurrection of Tuttle. So I can bring back Sanic, who was executed. Nice, but we're gonna bring back a wifey Tuttle, level five follower, first follower. This is what devotion brings you. Eternal life. Oh, I already preached today. Well, welcome back. You performed a resurrection ritual. Minus 10? Why would bringing someone back to life give you minus 10? That makes no sense. So now I will give Tuttle in the morning the long life amulet. And it looks like they've come back like a newborn almost. Amazing. I worry for the others. Um... But I guess it doesn't, it seems like there's no time limit on when they can come back actually. So you can just wait for that cooldown and bring back your favorite followers. I, I love that. All right, Mont Mont. Yeah, <sighs> feeling it now. I'll tell you what, 45 years and no sleep since you put this uh, moon amulet around my bloody neck. Yeah, aren't you lucky? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'd love to dream again and just close my eyes and actually have a sleep. But yeah, I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky you put this amulet around my neck that made I, meant I could never sleep again and I could just work all through the night, especially now that I'm an old man. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh yeah, a mine. That's what I wanted. Would you mind building that? <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll... Be right over and take care of that as I take care of everything at night time. Good, I'll take care of breakfast for everyone for the morning. Later, Bogey continues to masquerade as faithful. Something must be done. Imprison them! Okay. I will wait till everyone's had breakfast though and check on everyone's levels. Straight to jail, even though we shouldn't really believe these rumors, but I want to complete the mission. I'm a little bogey. I didn't do anything wrong. Get in the stocks. Oh, I don't like it in here. Please, I didn't do anything. Read mind. You imprisoned a loyal follower who was not dissenting. Thumbs down. Uh, ignore they have the ignores dissenters. They're a grass eater, respect elders, happy to see death. I honor my fallen comrade. Um, so let me just see, did that complete the mission? Collect reward from Sweet Cow. Thank you for keeping us safe. My devotion. Okay, sorry about that, Bogey. You're free, dude. Thanks. 
It was just a game, right? Like a prank. Exactly, dude. So, on the missionary, we can send people on little missions. Who is pretty low level? Knuckles. I don't want you to die because you're wearing something. Bill, you knew. Okay. I would like for you to go and collect me some body wants uh some uh some lumber okay <gasps> off you go mate now i'm hoping that's an 82 percent chance of success and not an 82 percent chance of death but we'll find out all right good luck bye bye now you have returned oh, bill i was not strong enough i couldn't do it sorry really oh <gasps> you die Damn it. Wow, missionary sucks, huh? I mean, not like... <laughs> uh, hashtag no context. Finally, I've been looking forward to this. Make your peace, creature. We will not be leaving this temple. Even though I'm a sister, so I should be talking like this. Hello, darling. I'm a frog. Whoa, sacrifice. I love it when it goes black and white like that. It looks so cool. <gasps> Yo, gross. Big mouth frog. Okay, let's see what you do. Oh, it's very constant. And a big leap. Seems okay so far. My blade is strong. Away from that. I don't have much health actually. But I've made it to here. Doing okay. Let some missiles go. Oh. Get him, get him, get him. Get these big boys. Need some more further. Oh. Missiles. Magic missiles. I'm like the Mandalorian. Whistling fireflies, whatever they're called. Super effective. Give me some more of those, please. What? That was cheeky. Oh, they're so close. I don't know. This is looking a bit cagey. Wish I had some poison. I only have a normal dagger, I think. Oh! God, the mobs. So many mobs. Oh. Need the fervor. Please! The bees! God! He's so close! Oh, Jesus! Yes! Oh my god, I did not think I was going to do that. Give me that heart. the chain. Wood lanterns, very nice. Trophy. I haven't even made that other trophy yet, actually. Whew, my gosh. Bones of my enemies. Leaving nothing but a corpse. I enjoyed what 
watching you destroy Hecate. Her arrogance was always destined to be her undoing. Your merciless crusade against the old faith warms my cold, unbeating heart. Last father. And the shepherd shall make a way in the wilderness, rivers in the desert, light in the dark. <laughs> Back to work. Excuse me, Lady. Some creatures here are seeking shelter, but they're sick. Should we let them join? Sick followers. Okay. We can get a new outfit. A golden fleece. Damage dealt increases after each kill, but resets when hit take double damage. So they have like powers. I feel like we would look coolest in the purple one. Gain a diseased heart every time a tarot card is drawn, but 100% of items are lost if killed. Pretty risky, but I don't die very much. Hmm. Damage dealt increases after each kill. Resets when hit. Take double damage. So doing loads of damage. I kind of like the idea of this one, and it's golden. Like, we'll look good in it. <laughs> new outfit. Check out the drip. Hello. You have so many mouths to feed. You must need some seeds. Ah, are you the chef that I need? A cult leader is always good for business. So many hungry followers with growling tummies. I'll just set up here. And if you're in need of crops, you know where I am. You don't mind, do you? What have you got? Elagos ate a meal made of other followers. Wait, what? I thought I made pumpkin. Go rest in bed. I thought I made pumpkin stuff. Did I accidentally make a meal of people? Let's resurrect. Beanie. Ah, Boomer, the wife. It's been too long. There we go. Welcome back, Beanie. stuff? Swampy stuff? Oh, we're underwater. I'll draw the depths for the heart she took from my chest. We're already at full health. I shall enjoy watching your cult rot from the inside. The disease is upon them. Monty! Hi. I don't feel so good. Leave my monkey alone. Oh. Get out for that. 
doing good damage though. Oh. So many of them. Bam. Got something sticking out of your head there, bud. Cauliflower seed. Ooh, or 17 lumber. I do need lumber, but we've never seen cauliflowers before. New recipes. Gonna take the cauliflower seeds. We know we can always get more wood. Gotta go back so I can take care of Monty. I think... This is the final one. Final Doctrine Unlock. Uh, a loyalty enforcer. Perform a ritual at your temple in which you appoint a follower as your loyalty enforcer, tasked with patrolling the cult and raising the loyalty of your followers, or someone who does taxes and taxes them. I think loyalty. Like, so the thing is, loyalty is a good way to go up stop people from dissenting and it gives you stuff for the level up building level ups money is needed but i feel like i can sell stuff i'm gonna come up and do this We're quite a prosperous cult in terms of selling things for money the question is who is going to be my enforcer let's do that ritual right now let's see <laughs> Who's going to be my loyalty enforcer? Uh, Tuttle would be a good pick. My f Wow, level 5, 6, 7. Um, we have Monty would be a good one. Hey, where's your loyalty? Or Beanie? Hungry Hippo? I'm going to go Monty. He also has the, <laughs> the long life thing. Hey, yes, loyalty. I am the enforcer, monkey. And he gets a little top hat. Today's sermon. Today's sermon is brought to you by Down to Sleep, my podcast of bedtime stories. So I just get up there and read a book. Read Alice in Wonderland for everyone. And then I'm like, go to Down to Sleep on Spotify or wherever you get podcasts. It even has its own YouTube channel. Did someone say Patreon for full readings? Down to sleep podcast.com. All right. Everyone's good, I think. Let's get out there. Let's let them collect that veg. Look at his little top hat, dude. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, loyalty. The leader of my coat is a coward. How can I respect someone who's too afraid to fight? Is there a path forged in blood and fire? Or do you believe in peace and kindness? I mean... Uh, peace, but also I'm here for war on other gods, so I guess kind of war? Another coward. That seems you're not the one I seek. What?! Bow to me! I thought that was what you wanted to hear! You said fight. God damn it, I should have been true to myself. This is what you get. It's just another lesson. I want an elephant. Your friend Rattle was the last vessel sent against us, the sniveling coward. And there were countless before him, all equally pathetic and unworthy. Nothing humbles quite like disease. I cast a plague upon your cult. No. How dare you. Gravely ill. I like how Fition is just happy. He's like, hmm. I like sick and poop. So I need to... Okay, so I need to go home after doing this boss and make sure everyone's taken care of. 500% damage I'm hitting for. 
Haborim. Whoa. Oh my god, the hits. The hits. You, this fleece is insane. You're back for mill now. Oh my god, a seahorse. We refuse to convert. They killed everyone. Please take me with you. So cute. I will smash where you lived before. Come on, me. Plimbo. Here, yeah, want a closer look at finest antiquities in lands of old faith, lamb? Bowdy. That's right. As long as my ships are floating, Plimbo's open for business. Boop. If this wets your whistle, come down to my sanctuary. Plenty of fine, legally acquired goods. <laughs> New map. The Smuggler's Sanctuary. Nice. Beelzebub. <clears throat> okay, dodgy, dodgy. Dodging and a dodging. Dodging and a dodging. Dodging and a dodging. Trying to keep that damage bonus up. Oh, damn it. Lost it instantly. Oh, I only have one health left. Oh my gosh. Careful. Whoa. Close, close, close. Can't see. Yes! Thought I was gonna die there. Huh. You're right for me. I mean, join the cow is great. Just needed one more crystal too. Maybe I can go to the uh, other gate. You allowed to go back out once you do the boss? If I get one more crystal, then we can uh, finish that mission. Hmm. Down. Imagine if I died now with the boss. I didn't. Seriously? So let's take a look what Smuggler's Bay is. Smuggler's Sanctuary, excuse me. Oh. Babu? Babu? You! Listen, Mutton Chop, you owe me a ship. Lobby. The bishops Baba. are nasty pieces of work, but they do a good enough job of keeping the waterways open and trade flowing. With you going around killing them, it opens the gates for all sorts of monstrous beasts to start sinking my stock. Beehaw. Scary things they be, with gnashing teeth and odiferous stinks and a face that could curdle milk. Just like my mother-in-law. <laughs> you must be making this right. Each time a bishop dies, a nasty beast called a witness takes its place. Lobby. Lucky for you, Plimbo and those folks will pay a pretty pa Oh, that's what the eyes of the witnesses are when I go back in and I repeat something I already did. All you need to do is return to places you defeated them and get an eyeball. I already have some eyeballs. Here. About time. Look at this squishy thing. Come on, me. They say these creatures have seen all there is to see and stood in silent judgment for millennia. Beehaw. Just like my mother-in-law. Here, take this. I found it on my travels. It means naught to me, but a crown bearer might have some use for it. Boop, boop. Ah, another one of these. So I can get another cloak. Okay. A decent reward. I'm pretty sure I have two eyes, don't I? I mean, in life, sure, but I actually have another one here for you. Babu. Another Babu. eye, Plimbo's starting to see your appeal. Truly, safety and security is something Plimbo takes seriously. Lobby. Ba -ba I could never bow my head to another, so don't think you'll be able to convert old Plimbo. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Two more to go. 
Nice. You shall have your boat, sir. Drop an explosive when you roll. Drop black ikor when you roll. Killing an enemy, 10% chance of healing. And then some decorations. I follow a form. So these will be the fishy ones, right? Look at that fish just stacked up with stuff. Ah, I got the elephant. One way or another. It shall be mine. Let's see if you have any secrets around here, eh? Literally something hiding, but... Make offering snail shell for that snail. Wait, what's that crab doing? Hang on. Oh, I didn't mean to... That crab just tricked me into buying another follower. A crocodile? That's pretty adorable. That is very, very cute. Where'd that crab go? Gotcha. Oh, that's how you get the crab form. That's the secret here. Okay, nice. All right. Is that it? Of course it ain't. Oh, hello. Shimura. Five becomes four, becomes three, becomes two, becomes one, becomes nothing. Calamar was always frightened of the Red Crown. Fear made a coward of him. My door is the next to be knocked upon. Knock, knock. The lamb comes to raise. End of days. End of days. Okay. Whoa! Why is the room that I have a challenge in some crazy spider room? That's two rooms. Oh. Get him. Yes! What do I get? Why aren't you just something? You've completed the challenge. What should you get? Four coins? What a joke. Here we go. Boss number three. Insignificant critter, you will learn your place. You do not understand, Lamb. Heed my warning and stay away. Um, num, 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 num. What are you going to be, like a shark or something? A squid? Oh, it's even worse than both of those things. Get some hits in before my... Damage and I take a hit. There we go. What are you doing?
no further. Calamar was always a coward. This land is a better place now, his pathetic, snivelling carcass is nothing more than a mound of rotting flesh. Soon I shall be freed, and the world remade in my image. All will pledge themselves to the cult. All will bow to my name. Yeah, about that, uh, it's sort of about me. All of the statues are of me, not of you. I feel like he has no idea that the cult is actually about the lamb, and that's what's going to be like the final boss or something. Present the heart of our enemies. Let's see. Oh. One chain left. Ah, oh, big ears died. <laughs> uh, you lamb, help me! Help me! Don't let the spider eat me. Fine. How can I leave a frog all tied up uh, like that, you know? Uh, uh, me one. Such a ripoff. The Silk Cradle. Do I not get to meet Shimura? Oof, the music here is quite intense. Here we go. He waits by the rocks of the darkened sea at the foot of the long sudden drop. Within the more of pointed teeth beasts, the stutter of the heart then stopped. He was the fifth, the fifth bishop of the old faith, our brother, the one who waits. Back then he was known by the name Narinda. But as millennia wore on, he grew discontent with his role. He began to question he was gluttonous in his ambition. In my imprudence, I loved him. For it, I lost my mind. For it, he lost his freedom. Can you fathom such betrayal, Lamb, of your own turned against you? Would you like to find out? He was the fifth, the fifth bishop of the old faith. Are you gonna... Lilda? I am sorry. Did you just turn... Whoa! Stagger! This isn't you. Stop. Stop it, Stacko. Please, control yourself. I don't want to hurt you. Not like this. Get a hold of yourself. Get a hold of yourself. Stacko, please. Wake up. Wake up. Thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope that you have an amazing rest of your day please do click like and subscribe if you haven't already thank you for being here check out one of these other videos on the screen to go on another adventure with me right now and i will see you in the next part for cult of the lamb